Hello there, I'm Ayana CP Hunter, real estate broker for Tucasa Sucatillo, and today for new agents, well, we're going to be talking about the difference between real estate agents and agents' apartment finders. And most people, I, I, I was, I was a little stunned to see that there is no correlation, and I don't understand why, since they both require the same license. But I want to give you these options so you know what's available to you once you hold your real estate license. Many people, the, they, they don't associate them. They say, um, and usually that's the case because people who specialize in selling houses uh, become realtors, become members of the realtor board, or um, people who specialize in apartments become members of the apartment association, which is different, okay, than the um, realtor board. And some people, it depends on the, on the broker itself, the, the boss. If the boss is member of the, any of these associations, then the agents have to be member of the same association. If your broker is independent, he don't belong to any of them, then you don't have to belong to any of them. Of course, there are many benefits of belonging to the associations. But going back to the difference, the difference is usually real, real estate agents focus on single home sales or um, rentals at most. And some people just do sales themselves. That's all they focus on. And apartment hunters, usually they only focus on finding apartments for people. So the difference obviously is the income. One pays more than the other because the fees obviously are less, but um, they hold the same license. Now, there are many benefits of doing both if your broker allows you to do both and you'll be able to rent apartments, rent single homes and sell them, that would be the ideal. Some brokers don't like that and they just like to focus on one segment. Some people don't, they don't think it's prestigious and they don't want to be associated with them. They feel that they're hustlers. But the truth is we both get paid the same. It's the same kind of work. Basically, when you go to uh, an apartment finder, what you do is you tell them all what you're looking for, anything that will impede you from getting the apartment you want. So they go ahead and narrow it down for you. And so they'd be able to check immediately to see availability, to see if there's any promotions. And then what they do is what they get paid for really is putting the footwork and doing the pre-screening before you go to every single building in town trying to get approved. You have a list of all the available apartments on your criteria based on your credit history. And then you will narrow down the search and therefore you will go straight um, to, to a building and get approved. And so they get paid 30 days after you in, you move into the apartment. So people don't get paid right away, just like in housing, like you write a contract, 30 days pass and you close. And then depending, usually they cut a check, the title company right away, but it usually goes through accounting from the broker's office and then they, that's how you get paid. So it's a little quicker sometimes if you do apartment hunting, versus selling, and obviously it's more constant if you do it more often than selling the property. Let's say you sell once a house every six months, you're gonna get paid only once every six months versus if you rent a properties every month. So it depends where the city you live in. If you live in a big city where there's more apartments, so therefore you, you have a, the, the demographic of people who move all the time, moving in, moving out, moving up, moving down, they require apartments. Some people don't require a house. And you have to keep that in mind that the people who become renters now might be buyers in the future, but some people will never be buyers because it's very expensive. It depends where you live. And some of them will never be able to afford a house. So it is the same license. The difference is that it's apartments and it's a different association, apartment association versus the real estate association who focus on sales properties, okay? In farmlands and such and such. They feel it's more prestigious. Obviously, it could be because it's, a, it's obviously more money for people who are buying. It's very serious. It's not as serious as renting because it could, you could be in a lease for a month to, to a year. You know, usually they lease, they would start writing them about three months minimum, a month a month. You could be have no lease and just go month a month. But when you buy a serious uh, transaction, where it's harder, mistakes cost more. And so we, you have to be more diligent. So at the beginning, when you're starting your career, it's great to be 
I, I said, become a apartment hunter. You put your license to work right away while waiting to sell because otherwise you're going to get discontent really quick and you're going to go to do something else and, and be frustrated that you study and you pay all the money and you're not using your license. This is a great way for you to use your license and to get to know the market and the different needs and, and you get to know people and maybe your renters might not buy but they have people who might want to buy and so it, it just keeps you moving it keeps your your money flowing and you want that so that's different usually is prestige and they provide a service also they provide a very important service of having people a place to live in is that's a very important service in anyone who holds a license consider that very important so i hope this has helped you until next time